Hey, we're going back to see more Pokemon Black 2. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> That's, that's the, that, that was the impression I was giving off to my own self as I was reading, and not reading, as I was saying the line. <laughs> but it, it, I feel like it's been a hot minute since we played this game, because it, it has been. Kind of like has been, like has been hooked. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> in, the, in the last one, uh, we got to Castilia City, we did shit with the sewers, we got a few encounters. Including Law, that was our- that was the main encounter in the last one. And, uh, and now it's time to challenge Berg, which is one thing I have to do real quick. Oh yeah, you gotta level up your Pokemon to the cap, huh? Yeah, just- I mean, just one of them, because, uh, I realized something as I was leveling up. Ooh, Swift! Hmm... What are you rid of? Probably Astonish. <laughs> I was gonna do that, I was just joking. He doesn't have a poison move yet. Yeah, we know. Oh. That's why <laughs> he started to fall, but I'm like, no, I'm not off camera, you dumb. <laughs> and then I pressed the B button right here. <laughs> no, you got you gotta wait and then become a big boy. Big boy! Yay! <laughs> Gekamori is now a gold bat! Alright, now I- oh shit. I forgot I saw- <laughs> I forgot I saw the work. <laughs> Alright, well, he doesn't have enough friendship yet. Yeah, well, uh, I meant to check moves. <laughs> Oopsies. So a couple of them learned stuff. Oh shit, no, not you. Not yet. Uh, well, you're- well, I mean, I gave, uh, Gekko Moria the scope lens. Ace now has Fire Fang and Takedown. That's good. Uh... Bellamy learned Aqua Tail. Sandow tried to learn Embargo, and I said no. <laughs> Bins learned Giga Drain. And then Aramaki learned Mega Drain. Nice. Yep. And that's everything that happened. And then I leveled up Law, even though we're not going to use them. I gave him the, uh, the Silk Scarf, and uh, he has secret power now. <laughs> oh, just like every single other auto note. I, I was like, I'm not using fucking helping hand. <laughs> I ain't using that shit. No. Yeah, I can't, can't wait to use helping hand and for it to say, but it failed. Yeah. It's only useful in double and triple battles, and we ain't doing that shit. Look, well, probably tired of wandering around all the crowded streets at Castilia Seal for Team Plasma and the gym leader. So here, I'll give you this. <laughs> Castilia City Freshwater un unopened. <laughs> $250 starting bid. <laughs> the, type of the theme of this gym is none other than cocoons. You head upwards by going inside the cocoons and traveling up the threads. The threads are definitely connected to Berg, eventually. Look at the little butterfly that's down here. It's what, so cute. What if he was just like gaslighting you and he's. and it's like. It's not actually connected to Berg. You yeah, yeah. Could, you <laughs> like, could never get there. He's like, yeah, it's gonna lead around there, and we just keep going in a circle. <laughs> what do you think? This gym, Pokemon gym, how, what would you say? Isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, I am. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> Clarence. Mm -hmm. didn't, didn't they make a show that was named Clarence? Yeah, I remember watching it. I remember Jeff. He had a square head. I remember. What was what was the what was the bald dude? I, uh, I don't know who you're Didn't talking. His name start with like yeah. an S or something. Sumo. Sumo. I think it was Sumo. He was. He was weird. I remember the pilot episode where it took place in like a knockoff McDonald's, yeah. and they're like, "Clarence, don't take my fries," and he's like, "I won't take your fries," and then he took the fries. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And he kept it in his back pocket, so I got like, so as he was sitting, he's gonna squish and. <laughs> was it, it, no, it was a good pilot. I remember enjoying it. Yeah, they, they made a bunch of weird shows that like that. Like, uh, what was what was another one? Uncle Grandpa. Yeah. Isn't there Greg at the, uh, the Creek? Or, or that was Disney. I don't remember which one that was. It's a newer one. Uh, I remember when Jeff's mom got two moms. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's there's like these shows that like you watch you watch again like you start watching uh, 
and you're like, how did I ever watch these as a kid? Like, like Johnny Test, for example. The amount of freaking sound effects that are in Johnny Test, it's actually ridiculous. Like, I tried watching with, one, with, with some of my friends. We got through about 30 seconds on the first on the first episode, and there was like 15 and seven 1700 uh, like like whip sounds. <laughs> We could not make it through a single freaking episode. <laughs> I remember the amount of those. <laughs> yeah, I'm not remember it being that bad. I remember, you know, watching that watching that show and having a great time looking at Bling Bling Boy and Oh Bling Bling Boy, I remember and, that. And then Agent White and Agent Black, isn't that their names? Yeah. The little spy guys. Yeah, I remember I remember that was a, that was a great time, but uh, I did not have such a great time uh, doing that. Uh, like in, what was it, I think it was like 20, 2021, yeah. when we watched it, it was like, oh, during COVID. I liked, um, I liked the theme song, it still slaps. Yeah, that's true. Excuse me, sir. Wait, 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 wait. What? Didn't you want to take Golbat out of the front? It's about to be level 25. <laughs> Oops, I, I forgot. <laughs> You could switch to like four different Pokemon and split up the XP. Oh yeah, cause that's what I wanted to. <laughs> no, I'm sure if you switch to, you can switch to Growl. Or sorry, Ace. Yeah, that's his name. Don't get it wrong. And it'll it'll probably be probably won't be enough XP to level Gecko Moria. I accidentally gave Ace to level 24, and then I was like, and then I accidentally gave Gecko Moria 24. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, shit, they're gonna be right at the whole <laughs> What do you mean accidentally? Every single one of them is level 24. I accidentally gave Servine level 25. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we ain't gonna use, use him in the gym anyway. It's a grass type and a bug gym. <laughs> that's why I put them in the very back, so I didn't accidentally use them. That's, that's why it's kind of nice. Some games have, uh, have the level cap, like, built in. So, uh... So that way, if you like try to level up your Pokemon here, like they'd be stuck at the zero mark. Oh, uh, really? Because there's a, there's like a built-in level cap. What do you mean Aqua Tail missed? It doesn't have that high of accuracy. I don't know why you just didn't use Bubble Beam. There we go. Do <laughs> so I say does it have the same like whip animation that it has in every other game? Yeah. And you know what if it does? What's wrong about that? Everything. You're lower accuracy. By the two stages. There we go. Fucking Aqua Tail hit, and it already has a decrease accuracy. There we go. All right, Combi. Put fucking Ace in here, man. I could have sworn that I told you it was level 23, it was the level cap. No, I think it said it was 24. Well, it might be 24, I don't know. I thought it was if 23. It's 20, if it's 23, then oopsie daisies. <laughs> Must be an aquarium. <laughs> it's fine, it's not like this gym was going to be a struggle anyways. Yeah, we have a flying type and a fire type, we're golden. Yeah, you have two of the types that are like... Beast. Four times effective against two other Pokemon. Yeah. Cause a lot of these bug types are uh, there's a really- You forgot to take Gecko Mori out of the front oh, again. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he's gonna be level 25 for the freaking battle. No, he, no he's in fine. I'll oh, take him out real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you look at how little XP he's gonna need to, uh, to level up. Let me see. Oh, I need to take him out anyway, it's adorable. <laughs> how much? Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius. You know, you're, you're typically in these notes like supposed to wait until you get to the gym leader and then use the rare candies. But, <laughs> Your Honor, I like to plead womp womp. <laughs> Why? I'm drinking the sturdy. Leave me alone. You just broken it with the bubble beam. Fine. Stop being mean to me. See? Don't you 
shake your head at me. I'll just shake my head at you if I want to shake my oh, head shit. at you. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to put him in the front for the rest of the tournament. Oh. Isn't it just his trainer and then you just go and up and. Bird, yeah. Uh, fire thing. I forgot these things spam fucking pro protect just like they're a fucking pillar. <laughs> yeah, it's always the middle evolutions of these Pokemon that do it, like freaking shell guns and. Mm -hmm. and uh, in Gen 3 do it as well. God, I remember when I was training off of that stupid thing in the fucking Elite Four, it just kept spamming protect, and it was so calculated that I just kept like, like, uh, like setting up on it. <laughs> you should have seen me fly through it, like, during it. I was like, I was like, alright, I'm using this Pokemon for this one, and then this one, and then switching out for this one, and it's gonna use this move right here. <laughs> I was so calculated. Are you going to be as calculated here? No. <laughs> Alright, oh my god. You need to heal... Uh, you need to heal... Bellamia. Uh, are, you, are you stupid or something? What? I just used... What is the problem? Did, okay, go up to the top real quick. Of your bag. Oh, okay. Do you not see that the super potion is literally right there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're sitting there. You're sitting there looking around for it, then you go all the way down to the bottom and then go up from there. I didn't see it at first. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta take a Kabor again. Yeah, that was. Just, oh wait, I did that already. So fucking smart. Why am I here? <laughs> To suffer. What is my purpose? <laughs> you, you spread butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah. Good work back there in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute, it's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani, it's really the best. And then I have a swab dude that I don't fucking care about. <laughs> I think it's so sweet how it makes Pokemon for other Pokemon out of its leaf. Yeah, it makes Pokemon out of for other Pokemon. <laughs> of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well, now let's get right to it. Alright. Why is he stripping? Oh my god! I like the little butterfly thing in there. You know how many memes I saw about like Berg and then that new guy in the uh, Gen 9 who's the grass type gym leader who's also like an artist? It was a lot of like, it's like Berg and it's like, <laughs> like through level up he evolves into that too. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> Alright, switch him out for Bellamy. I think you could send an ace against Lee Vanny and. Oh, I was going to. <laughs> and not even need Golbat. Why don't you just use two Bulbeam? No, because Bulbeam will get it to sturdy and then he's going to use the potion and he'll go right back up to the sturdy. Well, wouldn't you rather have him use the potion on this? Yeah, it's fine. It's already too late. Also, I love that Bellamy looks like an egg. I mean, Easter just passed for us. Glad it did. It looks like you dyed an egg blue, and then you then painted the bottom white, <laughs> like a little white, white little dots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. And you slapped some bunny ears on it. Yeah, it was weird. Easter was in March this year. Yeah. That's why I didn't know when I went to work that it was Good Friday because no one was fucking there. <laughs> Cut. Cut the rope. <laughs> I'm already playing that at work because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> it's a fun game. Yeah. I pulled up fucking Flash games. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Hmm, it's over. You're incredible. In bed. Excuse me? <laughs> Oh, you're very strong indeed. 
I guess it's no surprise I lost. Here, take this insect badge. I think it'll suit you. Look at it! It's like a little wing. I think. I don't know what that actually is. <laughs> Maybe like a butterfly wing. I think that's what I was supposed to be. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Ooh, the insect badge suits you even better than I thought it would. If you have three badges, Pokemon to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And, uh, you know what? I'll also give you this. Yes! Oh no! Let's go, we got Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the da a target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you this, it's the little things that count. Oh, can I touch this? I wanna touch it. <laughs> I want to touch it. <laughs> You're one for touching things that you don't need to, huh? Yeah. Stop touching me. <laughs> yeah, we're all done! We beat him up. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go heal real quick. <laughs> Our poor battered Pokemon. What do you mean poor and battered? They're fine. Ace is at 60% of his health. No, he's not. He, he just got miniature donut. Donated. It was cut, not fucking fire punch. <laughs> That'd be very ironic if a fire punch hit him and he died to it. I'd be very surprised if some Pokemon was strong enough to kill him with fire punch. Yeah. Well, critical hits still exist in this game, and they're still tense too. Anything he's, can happen. He's a fire type, though. Yeah. Unless they also have flash fire. You literally can't get hit by Fire Punch. No, we have Flash. We'll still get hit, but we get to like an increase, right? No, it, it, it like sucks it up. No, you, don't, you don't take any damage. No, wait a minute. Hold on. That's, that's Cap. Power the Fire type moves when hit by one. Yeah, have you not seen the ability, um. What, is it like the Thunder fucking... Rod? Oh, Lightning Rod? Yeah, Lightning oh. Rod. Oh, oh shit. It's the it's guy. Oh my god. Hi. Ooh, it's you again! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Hi. If it's not an inconvenience, may I take a look at your Pokemon? Yeah, you can take a look at my Pokemon any day you want. Here you go. I appreciate your cooperation. Give me that! <laughs> just, just, you, you gotta go see it! It runs out. How interesting. Your Growlithe seems to display more self confidence than others of the same species. And you're a trainer with merely three gen. Uh, why did they say three badges? Like, why not three gym badges? Mm. It's like, it's like, oh, you only have three badges. He's like, he's like, no, I got the setting up a campfire badge. <laughs> <laughs> I got my my nine kind badge. I got my peeing without my mommy <laughs> in the bathroom with me badge. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it. But you're bringing out the power of your Pokemon. Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Chorus. Oh, I already know who you are, honey. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon. That's what I just said. <laughs> it's, it's, it cuts to commercial. What is Chorus's theme? <laughs> I feel like that's a line where like they cut to commercial and then they come back and that's the line he says again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of like, be like, oh yeah, just in case you've forgotten the four minutes that we were gone for, you used to you uh, short attention span little gremlin children. Just in case you didn't happen to read the exact line that we just said. <laughs> we'll say it again. Yeah. Is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers? Or is there some other different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. Oh, he's be such a tease. <laughs> he's edging me right he's, now. He's so edging me right now. You know, I mean, they do that in One Piece. Like, I've noticed when I, what, like, been... No, <laughs> no, I'm at the commercial break thing. <laughs> edgy. <laughs> but they do that a lot in One Piece. Like, when I'm, like, binging and watching it, like, they'll do... They'll say a line and whatnot, and, like, and then it, like, cuts to the little commercial thing, and, like, the little segue thing, and then they come back, and then it's... A... To left. A challenge like successfully beat Berg, the Castilian gym leader. Hoggers. Yeah, I, I, I and know. And then they come mean. back and they're like, So that's Kaido! And I'm like, You just said that in the last scene. Why do I need to hear it again? 
Oh. Oh, all the, all the crust over here. <laughs> That's blocking the screen right now. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? Oh, hell yeah, I'm interested in everything. This is a bunch of fucking rocks. <laughs> <laughs> These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustal. Observe. With this device I create to energize Pokemon, I'll... Hey, get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, he's so cool! <laughs> skidoo, wait, skidoo, your wait, mother has this... Wait, didn't day. they, like, walk away in the last one? Yeah. Wait, is this they disappear? That was Crustal. Were they just lying here out of energy with their boulders on their backs? Oh shit. Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential of Pokemon and liberate them from humans. Oh, I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Oh my god, he's so cool with his internet explorer hair. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Yeah, it was Whitebeard. Whitebeard? You mean the strongest man in the world? <laughs> Oh, he's not strong enough, and then he's not alive anymore. I'll remember that name. Hey, to be fair, White Whitebeard went up against literally like the, enti the, the entirety of One Piece. Yeah. Well then, I will test you to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. In the uh, in the manga, mm -hmm. it's like more detailed on like graphic on on like Whitebeard's injuries that he sustained. Like, he literally has, like, half of his face blown off. What the fuck? And, and like, countless holes just throughout his entire body. And, and it mentions, it, like, all like all of the wounds he took. It was, like, it was, like, 348 gunshot wounds and, like, seven cannon shots being punched oh, that's straight, dirty. straight in the, like, straight through his chest and whatnot. And then it says, like, but there's not a scar on his back. I was like, how the fuck does it go through? <laughs> I remember them saying that in the, um, like, in the anime. Oh shit, let me put this down. I remember them, like, going through, like, when he's still standing there. And, like, he's, he's, like, dead, but he's still, like, standing here straight up. He's like, oh, he's just staying, uh, this many stab wounds, and then this many gunshots, and then, like, the, his, like, uh, what do they call it, like, the coat thing comes off of his bag, and he's like, but not a single one touched his bag, and so the emblem's still there, the, his tattoo. Yeah. And he's like, even, he didn't even fall after he died. I was, wondering, I was wondering why you just use a paralyzed heal. Because I was like, there's probably a very good chance you're just going to get paralyzed again. Well, my bad. Yeah, it is your bad. Sparks fly, it's like electricity, I might die. <laughs> nice critical hit. Yeah, I know, right? It matches the Siri that just, <laughs> just happened on the screen. <laughs> Does Clean Cap levitate? There we go. No? What? Does Clean Cap le levitate? Clink? No, it has like a plus and minus uh, ability. Then, then throw our boy out there. <gasps> throw, throw alligator. <laughs> That ain't crocodile, that ain't crocodile, that ain't crocodile. I need to tell Jolene that we need, well, I was like, hey, we kind of sand dial, and since our theming is One Piece, we need a crocodile, you know, it's a female. <laughs> it's for the One Piece mom theory. He's so, he's so intimidating. Much slap. So fucking loud in my ear. That explains it. <laughs> I felt like 50. <laughs> my poor- because I always have my- no matter what game I play, I always have my headphones like one on the right ear and then the left one up, that way I can always hear my surroundings and do volume control and whatnot. Except for Lethal Company, because it's required to, or else you won't be able to hear how to cast the things around you. <laughs> and then you get your neck snapped by a fucking bracket. Sand too. How to avoid it? It's gears. How the gears move? They're moving in place. It's impossible to hit them. <laughs> wow, that did a lot more than mud slap. Yeah. I wonder if mud slap's a special move. I think it is, because it's like you're throwing mud at someone. Wait, why are you using mud slap again? Why don't? Because I'm. I'm stupid. It's a, it's a special <laughs> I move. I said I was stupid. Oh no. Oh, well, it's twice, right? Okay. 
You might have to take Carmen out. What the fuck did we put in? Put in like Aramaki. Oh yeah! You're so smart, Cameron. I know, I'm a genius. Did you give me like an award for that? Geargrind's a really strong move. Yeah, well he did charge. Well, doesn't charge just uh, increase your special Oh, special it does. Points. Use Tackle. Oh, okay. No, Tackle won't do that much. Like, it's a normal type move. And Leaf Tornado's gonna do um, that much? Wait, Sandtube is... Just Tackle it. Okay. I always thought normal type moves aren't very effective. Yeah. Yeah, but he's like plus six. He has like literally four times his special defense. Oh. Have you not been paying attention to the no. entire fight? <laughs> I see, it's just like the gym leaders in each area, or the elite foreign champion in the Pokemon League. You bring out the power in Pokemon by being kind to them. Yeah. That's the kind of person you are. Yeah, I'm so kind of them that I make them use special moves. <laughs> <laughs> the, he never said you're a very smart trainer. <laughs> he said I was very kind, not very smart. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful for your help. This is a token of my gratitude. Oh, is it your number? Oh, it's just a protein. Okay. <laughs> It's so frustrating. If only we could talk to Pokemon in order to bring out their power. But there's no way a person like that could ever exist. <laughs> well then, Edward. I hope to see you again sometime. <laughs> Do I have news for you, Internet Explorer? <laughs> Alright, now you play. I need to pull up two comments from our from our boy... Oh. Why? Uh, you literally passed this person, so I didn't think they were going to battle us I, again. You have to do it in a specific way so they don't battle you. They keep battling you no matter what. I thought you needed to like, talk to them again and then they would battle no, you. No, Breeders are one of those trainers that keep repeat battling you so you can kind of like grind off of them for experience. Well, yes, I know that. I'm just saying I thought that they you had to talk to them again in order to re-battle them. No. Okay, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> that happened and I forgot. I gotta pull up the comments. Of our, of our boy, uh, that night guy with the f with no face. Or is that his name? I don't know. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Okay, I think I found it. Well, there was one of them when I, we were talking about like the like how they should have another Pokemon to do like the other types if mm -hmm. they're not going to do any more evolutions. To evolve your Eevee into a Ghost type, you need to hit it with an object called a brick. <laughs> Jokes aside, though, I really wonder how we can get one more evolution after Sylveon. There definitely should be a Dragon-type Eevee in Galar, since it has a lot to do with medieval stuff. Aside from that, normal bug, ghost, and steel-type evolutions would probably be pretty easy to come up with. I already got ideas from this as I type this comment. And then... That was from the Reggie Rock. Okay, so here is... <laughs> All right, here's another one. Okay, that one just being like, I could. I think that was when I first mentioned him by name, and he's like, yeah, it's a good thing you can't see my full name because it spoils Hollow Knight. <laughs> it's funny how all the Reggies use the recolored Reggie Ice spray in the overworld. Kind of reminds me how the statue of Eterna City looks like both Dialga and Palkia in the original Diamond Pearl and, and Platinum games, except, well, it works a lot worse for the Reggie. <laughs> that is true. And then one final one with oh here it is the red Reggie Ice one. Here it is. Surprisingly enough, Ice Punch has been a thing since Gen One. It's just that up until up until and including Gen Three, only three Pokemon can learn it from Love Love, but a lot of others can learn it from a TM or Move Territor. And funny thing is, only one of those three is a Ice type, which is Jinx. <laughs> what are the other two? I have no idea. <laughs> also. Also, yep, Wobba Fett can learn pretty much no direct attacking moves. It's just a- it's a gimmick. It's a punchy mom that punches back. Also, good luck with Latias. You're probably gonna need it. Not that I know. I never got one and never rolled myself. <laughs> so true. Alright, I will not be caught by this person again. Just go, like, hug the, uh... I know what I'm doing. I just wanna make sure, but you're like, I got it! And you just zip right through <laughs> Oh, the lag. The Look, lags. it's a city. Yeah. We built the city! city! You can go in those buildings. Why is this guy stopping me? Hey, you! Stop right there! 
Please, we're just, we're just saying. <laughs> Why he look like that? He got no chin. Actually, he actually all chin actually. What did I send out against this one? Oh, yeah, that's decent. Use fire thing. Are there no trains? Oh no, he's dead. Wait, what do you mean? What did you do? <laughs> it just used counter. He got, he got turned into a donut! How was I supposed to know this trainer has counter? I don't know, I didn't know, we, we didn't, when we encountered it last time, we didn't see that. I've literally never encountered this trainer. Send out Gekkobori. No, we're like 22 minutes in. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. It's fine, we'll get another fire type. Although Growlithe's one of my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. I don't even think we need fire anymore. The next one's electricity, then ground, then flying, and then dragon, and then water. And there's also, no it would've been good against Colerins, at least. Yeah. And also, uh... Uh... Colerins. <laughs> that did. gonna be okay. You wanna head back and go put him in the box? <laughs> I'm so pissed off. I'm sorry. We can put Law in the party. Well, it had to be- it had to be canon that he got punched to death. And the animation for counter is a punch, so... I can't wait to tell Jolene, like, oh by the way, we need one ace. He's dead now, but you won't find out until, like, episode 8. <laughs> oh wait, it's episode 7. I want to say, that was not my fault. Yeah. I mean, there was no way of knowing that it would have had counter unless we looked up the uh, There's trainer. no way of me knowing that it would have used counter on its first try. What? It's so freaking frustrating. And it just happened to survive on the skin. It's, if I did like, if I just did less damage, it would have been fine. Alright, put one. And then put, put him in the dead box. <laughs> Sorry, Ace. No, no, other way. Well, okay. <laughs> Put him right next to Nami. If, if we find a Max Revive, we can bring him back. Please. I like that rule, because it lets us bring back some of the Pokemon I actually like. Yeah. Not Nami. <laughs> Sorry, Nami. You Damn, fucking you are, suck. you a Nami hater right now. Okay, how about we just, uh... Give Crocodile the leftovers. Yeah. It's okay, I don't feel as bad because I didn't kill a Crocodile. <laughs> I would've been much, much more sad. We can probably end the episode with us getting our encounter in the Desert Resort. Ooh, isn't there fire types that we can get there? Like, uh, can't, can't we get Darumaka? Let me, uh, look. Darumaka? No, you can get your, uh, your Trampish, though. Oh, a trap inch would be good. Desert Resort Black 2. I keep spelling dessert. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. <laughs> are we are we guaranteed a, a Litwick later on? Uh in the in the tower, yeah. I mean, we can either get a Litwick or a bell thing. I hope All we right. get a Litwick. In the Okay, that's okay. In the actual desert resort itself, don't get an encounter here. They get shit ones. So be careful. Be careful, Spongebob. Careful. Careful. Alright, so we can either get, according to Black 2, we can get, well, inside of it. Uh, should I go get a rope? Wait, do we have a rope on us? I don't know. I think they're a little bit too high level for it to work anyway. Just go, just walk. Don't run. Well, okay, what can we get outside of it, though? Uh, okay, uh, we can get Sandile, Duramaka, Maractus, Scrafty, Sandshrew, and Dwebble. 
Insight Walking, Sandile, Darmaka, Santru, Maractus, Sigalith, Dwebble, Trampish. Hmm. I really do want that, that chance at a trap inch. Trap inch is a 5% chance. Alright. Just, just go. Don't, be careful! Just walk past it. We were fine last time. Just. just Alright, if we, if, if we get an encounter, then I'm blaming you. Okay, just go. Careful. Okay. Holy shit. Alright. I mean, Sigil is a good Pokemon, but that's 10%. Do we. Oh, wait. Dwebble's another, good. Another thing that I'm checking? Uh, What's up? Okay, we have we have pokeballs. <laughs> That's also a good thing. I mean, Sandel's thirty percent, so we're gonna we'll probably find that first before we find anything else. All right, you ready? Yep. <sighs> also, when we're done, we can beat up the nurse, so we have a healing spot for next episode. Oh, <gasps> that is really good. Oh gosh. Uh... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Now I know it should. <laughs> Oh wait, we can't get hit by psychic type moves, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, I think I'm careful. Don't Should want I to just eat. throw balls at it? Yeah, I mean it's level 19. What is the catcher in this thing anyway? Oh, it has a really pretty shiny form. What is, is the tap rate of 45? Is that good? I think so. Well, okay, we don't have to worry about that. That's 15, it's, a, it's 15 times higher than legendaries. Yeah, it's a girl! <laughs> what do we name it? Yeah, what the hell are we naming this thing? Psychic Flying. The guardians of the ancient city, they always fly the same route while keeping watch for invaders. Alright, um... You had the most One Piece knowledge of any... Is there like a... I mean, like a lot of art artists, um... A lot of artist trainers have this Pokemon, so is there any, like, people that are kind to art in? Oh wait, what's that samurai's name? Oh wait, that's a cur- that's the boy. <laughs> um, Never mind! What's, uh... I was thinking of... Because it has, it has wings, right? Yeah. I was thinking of, like, the, the harpy girl from, uh... From whatever it's called, uh... The Snow Place. Why can't I think of what it's called? What, Drum Island? No, the the one that they go to that's half snow, half Oh, half fire. Punk Hazard? Oh, I know who you're talking about! I don't, Monique? I don't Is that her name? I think it's Monique. I guess I can't is, is it Q? Q-U-E? M-O-N-I-Q-U-E? Well, Hold on. well, it could it could have been that. It's just that there's someone named. I don't know who the fuck bought it. Get <laughs> okay, g give me this. Just take it. <laughs> Monet. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know spelling's hard for me? <laughs> I'm still sad. What? Ace is dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the One Piece is still real. Yes! Alright, you wanna go challenge that nurse before we, uh, before we end the episode? Sure. I'm a trainer before I was a nurse. I'm itching for a Pokemon battle. Actually, Emma should just punch you in the face instead. <laughs> what can we get in the Relic Castle? Same thing? Sand battle and, uh... Your mask, but if we wait later on to go to the very bottom floor after a uh, drift after we get the Driftdale badge, we can get uh Volcorona. Hmm. At level 35. That's a new fire type and it's buff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Who needs Growlithe anyway? Yes, yeah, see? Yeah, but we just gotta be patient. We can't enter the Relic Castle at all until we get our encounter, because I feel like we're gonna get a mask and we're gonna have to capture it. <laughs> And it has pretty good moves. What are you doing? Why don't you just bite it again? He's confused. Oh, he is? Yeah, I don't like <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not risking. I thought you were taking it out because it was a, a fairy type. Why does it have a grass type move? It had and it why did it critical hit? I mean, I had it when we, uh, we battled it in the first one. Uh, did we see what moves it had in the first one? Yeah, it had uh, Magical Leaf. 
when we first found it in the Dresser Resort. Well, my bad. <laughs> Double edge. I don't like these moves. <laughs> They're scary. <laughs> I'm so it. I'm so itchy. <laughs> Okay, I'll get you all fixed up. Just leave that to me. That's right, Pearly murdered your Pokemon with a magical leaf. <laughs> but you Be careful of the sandstorms that you explore Desert Resort. Oh, right. damn, we could've got a Firestone for Ace while we were here. It's fine. If, get if, it for if, someone later if on. If you want to be optimal with Growlithe anyways, you wait till level 40 to, to evolve it with the Firestone, because that's when it gets Flamethrower. Damn, so we would've just had it in the PC and <laughs> Still level 40. <laughs> yeah. Which would have been like. And like you said, he's not really that useful for the rest of the gyms. Yeah, I mean, the only thing he's useful for is Chorus because he mainly uses steel types. Yeah. Which, if we do end up getting uh, Volcarona later on, Volcarona's good. Sweet. Volcarona's very good. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never used a Volcarona in a playthrough, so that'd actually be kind of cool. Yeah. Doesn't I... he have a really low catch rate, though? <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> I mean, we're a ways away. We're gonna have to do the Driftfield gym thing before we uh, even get over there. Cause we're gonna have to go through the Relic Passage to get to the Relic Castle. We're gonna have to use Repels to make sure we don't get a boy toy in the uh, in this room, and then get to Corona. Yeah. So that stuff, that techno stuff. That this motherfucker need to, needs to evolve one of these days. Well, I'm we need a. Well, we we'll get one in Boston City. It'll be fine. Yeah. Do you, do you think Law or uh, Sigalith would be better? Actually, do you think Bins or Sigalith would be better? Sigalith, we need mood diversity, we need a psychic type. And we can give uh, give Sigalith the uh, the Twisted Spoon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so in the next one we might switch up the party a little bit. But... Yeah, I mean, we're in a desert, mainly these Pokemon are gonna be like ground types. And the people that they're using are going to be ground types, so... Yeah, but I mean, that guy's a fighting trainer. Yeah, but he doesn't do anything. He'd just be like, wow, the sandstorm's out of control. Be careful out there. <laughs> 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 I just fucking said that. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, sorry for killing off Ace if anyone... Uh... Was rooting for him. Oops. <laughs> yeah, if anyone was rooting for him to last through the playthrough, it was not meant to be. Yeah. With the name like that, it was... It's, he it was, had a death warrant. It was my bad. To be fair, I've never played Black 2. I didn't know that trainer existed. Death. And I ran into him on accident. Yeah, the death was looming over Ace the entire time waiting for it. So yeah. At least he went out with a punch. Yeah. At least he, at least he, he went out doing what he, he needed to. Yeah. He did his best. He did the gym at least. That would've sucked if we... Yeah. He got killed before good, the gym. Good job, Ace. Rest in peace. We might bring you back later on. Yeah, I don't know. He comes back in flashbacks, so maybe we'll <laughs> max revive him, and, and, and you know, this will be his flashback moment. Oh my god! And then he dies again. <laughs> so we can still go get the Firestone. Yeah. If you want, if you want to max revive, that's the good thing about Nuzlocke is you can play them however you want. Yeah, I always play with the max revive rule. I never play with the uh, the like the revival herb because. In this game, you could just straight buy them in bulk. Yeah, I think the max revive rule is kind of fun because uh, they're limited in this game. Yeah, and if there's really if there's like a Pokemon, like especially if you like lose your starter early on, then you don't feel as bad because uh, because you can like at least bring him back later on. Mm -hmm. But anyways, with that one, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.